Okay, now I got the, the fan trout off. Uh, what I'm going to do for, you know, converting over to an alternator from a generator, I'm going to remove these four screws right here, and this should slide on out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take these four screws out, and it should just slide on out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the four screws out. Let's see how it should just pull straight on out. Yep, there we go. I'm going to set that down out of the way. And then I guess I'll be moving on to the next step. Because then I got to take this uh, the fan off and kind of inspect that while I have it out. Got to remove the, uh, I don't know if you can see it from there. Let me see, you can see what I see. Yeah, I got to remove this bolt. I'm gonna take my impact wrench and just pop this off and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I got my impact wrench out and it looks like an inch and seven sixteenths will fit it. And the uh, 36 metric fits it. Um, same as I guess the gland nut, but uh, let's see how this uh, <coughs> see if it comes off There's that. I don't know if you can see it. And I thought there was supposed to be a shim here, but apparently not. Let's see how this comes off. I'm going to pull the fan off and be right back. Okay, I got the fan off, um, and again, I thought there was supposed to be two shims here, and then I thought there was supposed to be a shim on this side, but I'll look into that a little more when I go install it, and they, you want to definitely check out your fan. Um, I'm going to reuse this, so I'm going to degrease it and clean it, check it out, make sure it's not cracked, um, and uh, of course, I'll be taking off the, the generator because um, I'll come back to this later. But next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this out. might have to stop the camera so I can mess with this a little bit. But um, I'm going to take these two screws or nuts off right here to take the plate off. Um, and that's going to be the next um, step I'm going to do. And also, there's a, I forgot what to call it, a shear pin. I think they're supposed to be in here, that this slides over, and uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, I got the, this bolt off, and it, it has a little shear pin. I don't know if you can see it. Let me roll it around. It has a little shear pin. It was a uh, bear getting off, but uh, my dad had a, a gear puller that had three prongs. We got on it, and it, it came off, but it just slides on and off. And... Um, uh, I'm keeping everything just in case I need parts. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to use. I know the fan, I'm saving these bolts and nuts because I don't know if my uh, alternator. I'm gonna look at see if I have it. But that's pretty much getting it off of uh, out of the fan shroud and and because uh, I'm gonna reuse these. So the next step is uh, start putting an alternator together to slide into the fan shroud, and um, so we'll be back. All right, we're going to start assembling the alternator together since we got the generator off and everything. This is what the kit came with. Um, came with the backing plate, the fan plate, the um, alternator strap. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Got a spacer ring, got another um, uh, mount for to hold the generator, the stand, or alternator, alternator stand, and then of course the alternator. And I've already removed 
the old uh, generator stand and I'm going to reuse the oil filler so if you have that and you want to reuse it make sure you don't throw it away and again I already got it off and um, one thing the kit does not come with is gaskets and the oil deflector you might want to pick that up I'm having to use my old one but they're pretty new so again uh, when you order in your kit think about that all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put the alternator stand on here it is and then we'll go on to the next step all right we're gonna be um, start assembling the uh, fan shroud uh, assembly to the alternator and first thing I was told to do is this hole right here for your spark plug wires is supposed to go on the bottom so I'm going to flip this around put that right there like so and then got to get the spacer goes on it I believe that's going to go right here like so and then let me see if you can see this on the bottom here you're going to see a little gap that also needs to be on the bottom because I believe that's where you get your um, get your air in to help cool the generator and then make sure all these holes are lined up and then going to go ahead and I had to use the bolts or the nuts from my uh, other from my um, generator so I made sure I saved them and what you're going to do is you want to snug these up but before you tighten it check to make sure your holes are all lined up um, your holes here and try to get it um, as centered as you can holes lined up okay well I'm gonna go ahead and snug this up and we'll go on to the next step but again make sure you got all these holes lined up um, holes right here okay well, I'm gonna go ahead and snug this up and I'll be right back Okay, and I don't know if I told you in the last recording, but when I had it up, I had the top with the terminal uh, connections and all was on the top. So make sure that the little gap thing is on the bottom right here. You can see the top here. Okay, and the next. Okay, again, I'm gonna put two shims on it and take the fan put it on there let's see if I can get it on there like so then we're going to put another spacer on it make sure that don't come off and then the little washer I'm using the same one that came off my other fan you want to make sure the curved part is out and uh, got to kind of hold that into place and I'm going to take the nut that I also took off. That part needs to go in. See the other side's flat? That part needs to go in. Let's see, hold on this other side. And I'm going to use an impact wrench to tighten it down, but uh, I guess you got to hold on to this other side if you don't have that to keep it from spinning. And I think uh, I think it's 32 pounds Torx, but uh, uh, but I should be able to just grab it with an impact wrench, hold on to the fan, and uh, tighten her down, snug her down, and then I'm gonna make sure you know it's when it spins, it's not hitting anything, and then uh, and then we'll go uh, to the next step. All right, I just wanted to show you. I'm just gonna put the impact on it. Should be good. And again, I'm checking it to make sure it's not hitting anything. All right, uh, now we're ready to mount it to the fan. We'll be right back uh, to the fan trout. 
Okay, now I slipped the fan in there, made sure the hole was uh, at the bottom, and then uh, I'm going to take my fan stroud uh, screws, get them started, make sure everything's lined up. Get them all started before I tighten them down. Looks like they're all going in okay. Yep, they're all going in there, and uh, and what I would do, um, I don't know if I told you this before, but there's holes in here, something I didn't know, because when I took it off, mine were missing, but this is where your spark plug uh, um, cable holders go in it, they just snap. Alrighty, so I'm going to tighten these down, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and um, got the fan shroud with the alternator on. As you can see, uh, you know, had the stand on there, uh, which that's pretty much self-explanatory when you take it off. But uh, make sure you know you use the stand that comes uh, for your alternator because a generator uh, stand won't work. And I took the oil uh, filler off of my other system. You may have one a little different. But uh, word to the wise, I didn't put my mounting strap on uh, to mount to my base. You can see it goes right down there. Uh, it was, I was able to get it on with the help of a friend of mine, but um, he just worked it in there behind there. But uh, go ahead and put that on before you uh, slide it down. Another thing, because I had a SCAT, or it's uh, called a red line um, intake manifold, what I had to do is I had to loosen up uh, my little garments here and my heat risers. I had to take them off. Uh, it's a little bit of a chore, but I had to work my uh, intake manifold over so my generator would go down and then work it back in. I think if you have a Solex, uh, you won't run into that. But as you can see, I'm very, very close here. Um, so that was a little bit of a a task I'm not gonna lie to you and um, let me see what else uh, you know when I slid down also was able to put a screw in back here that goes into my Hoover bit uh, I think I got a video with the oil cooler shows what the Hoover bit is and uh, there again when my buddy was here uh, Jared uh, he, he actually sealed it all up for me you can see right here, so I have no gaps. Um, big shout out to Jared, thank you. But that's pretty much it on um, this uh, install of the alternator. And of course, you know, you're gonna put on your uh, uh, pulley assembly and stuff. And, um, and then I'll uh, try to make another video of the wiring. But uh, again, I hope this was helpful and um, have a good day and please subscribe to me uh, if uh, I'd really appreciate it. I'm not a mechanic, but uh, had fun doing this and uh, I'll uh, keep you updated with another video of the wiring and I still got to put the carburetor on and stuff like that and tie up some loose ends. But other than that, have a good day.